Hi everybody, this is Sharon from School Corridor. We have just completed our series on IQMS and another burning question that teachers have is what are we supposed to do on CPTDIS? That portal that is on the SACE site. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how IQMS and the recording and reporting on your professional activities on the SACE site are in fact integrated. Now, I'm aware that we often treat IQMS as one process and the recording and the reporting of our professional activities on the SACE website as another activity, right? But if you think about it, you'll see that there is in fact a correlation. It is one process. Let me just explain. Remember, uh, if you want to teach in South Africa, you have to be registered with SAIS, which is the South African Council of Educators. Just like doctors, dentists, other professionals who have to register with their professional councils, we as teachers in South Africa have to register with SAIS, which is our professional council. And so where does the professional development reporting and recording fit in all this? Um, perhaps I can explain it like this. SACE as the professional council was mandated by the education department to develop a management system where we could record our professional activities. And so on the SACE website you'll find there is a special mini website or a portal called CPTDIS. The IS stands for Information System. And we know by now that CPTD stands for Continuing Professional Teacher Development. So remember I said when you do the IQMS process, you are in fact not only allocating a score to yourself, but you're also having to do introspection about your professional development and the kinds of activities that you engage in to ensure that you're always on top of your game. As professionals, we have to develop ourselves. Things change all the time. Um, education, the way we have to teach nowadays to the new kind of student that we have in our classes and all the uh, various tools and methods that we have available and all the research that is currently being done. All those things are supposed to help us find how can we improve our craft, how can we improve our teaching so that the learners learn optimally, right? So the whole idea is when you are done with your IQMS, then you would have recorded the professional development needs that you have, remember, on the QA6, and you would have developed a professional development plan. Now that professional development plan must be recorded on your SAIS portal. In other words, you take that very professional development plan and you just transfer that information to the SAIS website. Okay, so when you go into the CPDD IS portal, once you're on the SAIS website, you will find that um, you will be asked to record all your details and then um, once you've recorded all your details you also have to give some information about which um, grade you're teaching all your teaching details or particulars and then there will be a form that you have to complete in terms of your professional development plan so that is where you record all your information and then you will just continue doing your activities. Then when you have completed your activities, you just have to record those very activities on that particular portal. Okay? So there's the, on the portal itself, you will see that you will be given a space 
to write what activity you've done. There will be a block to describe briefly what the activity was all about and what you have learnt while you were doing the particular activity. And that's it. So the SACE actually has a facility where you can record your development plan and you can record all your activities and at the end of the day you can print that out and you will have a resume or a checklist of all the activities that you've done. Perhaps I should just speak about the kinds of activities that we as professional educators should be engaged in. There are three types of activities, right? The one type is your teacher-initiated activities. Those are the activities that you decide on. For example, you may independently decide to register for a particular course that feeds into one of your development needs. You may be doing private reading, private research. You may be reading books and so forth entirely on your own. Now, all those activities will then be recorded under teacher-initiated activities. Then you get the second type of professional activities that we are supposed to be doing. And those activities are organized by your school. So all the professional activities that are done at school will be recorded under that particular category. Let's say, for example, your school decides to call me in as the people management coordinator and you say, right, Sharon, we would like you to do a session or a refresher course on the uh, professional development of teachers or we would like you to explain again the whole process of IQMS. Now, because the school invited me, uh, that activity, once it's done, will then be recorded under the school initiated activity. Then we have another category, the third category called the externally initiated professional development activity category. Now in that category, you will record all your professional activities that the school has organized by calling in an external service provider. Okay, so your external service providers can range from NGOs or any other organization. And it also includes the district staff. So if a district official, for, say for example, a subject advisor decides to have a workshop, then when you record and report on that activity on your CPDDIS site, then that activity will be recorded under the externally initiated activity so essentially that's it folks um, when we speak about IKMS we are talking about the development of teachers and yes there's a very important component that refers to the scoring but more importantly it's about us developing as professionals and so therefore we have to record and report on those activities all right so we've spent some lovely time in each other's company i wish you all the best as you are busy with your process and remember that we must continue to grow inspire and empower each other till next time